What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here with all the news after week 15 of our Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. The Jaguars fall to 4-10, and 10, back on a losing streak after winning a few in a row. Um, it's been demoralizing. It hasn't been great. Uh, the last game we probably should have won, I feel like. We also should have won the Browns game, but didn't roll our way, I guess. The Texans just demoralized us both times. It wasn't even really close. We really struggled against them. Um, but we have two games left in the season against the Titans and the Colts. We beat them both earlier in the season. So we know we can beat these two teams and potentially finish the season 6-10, and 10, which would go a long way in getting some of our younger guys' experience and uh, getting them ready for next year when, you know, I actually have a roster that I built. I was handed this roster. I didn't really have a whole lot to work with. But now that we're getting to the offseason, we're pretty close. We're almost there. Now that we're getting there... Um, we're definitely going to put together a team that I, I feel more comfortable with. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. And as you can see, this next week will be the last game in our stadium in Jacksonville. Um, if you missed the earlier, earlier episodes of this, we will be moving to Chicago next season. So I'm really excited about that. Donald Butler has turned down the Chargers' offer of a contract extension. He's going to be somebody worth looking at. Um, I definitely want to improve this improve this defense a lot. Let's see if there's anybody else that have been turning down contracts. Uh, These are just people coming back healthy, I guess. Um, let's see. Doesn't really look like it, does it? Nope. No, no more news in terms of that. Cecil Spence returns. I believe we've already seen this one. So, yeah. Let's get some scouting done today. Uh, I don't really have too much points to work with, but I'd like to look around. Uh, let's see who I've scouted so far. Um, Damian Jacko. I don't really need a cornerback, but I'm kind of curious as to what all these guys ranked out as. I guess it's going to be easier if I do it from this way. Because I know there are some other corners that I that really intrigued me. I'm trying to remember who they all were. Um, yeah, like Evan Bell was one of them. Uh, see, he has really, Cecil Spence has really bad zone coverage, but Evan Bell's nice, and then, you know, Lockett, I think Lockett's a later round, correct? Oh, no, he's still first round, so I need to scout some later round corners, that's what I should be looking at. Um, I definitely don't plan, catching is A for Damian Jacko, wow. That's interesting. Um, I definitely don't really plan on using, or drafting a corner in the first round. I feel like I have more important needs at the current moment, but we'll see how the, all of that plays out. Uh, who should we scout today? Let's see. Available. Let's just go go all the way up here. Um, again, I don't really need a left tackle. I have Luke Jokel. He's a rookie. He's pretty good. Um, I could use a wide receiver maybe. I like this guy's height. 6'6". Six, six. My goodness. Um, kind of slow. Maybe you could use him as a tight end. I do want to draft a like. See, I don't know that I want to draft a quarterback in the first round either. I'm not positive on that. I, have I scouted many quarterbacks? I've scouted a few. Um, I've scouted some way down here as well. So maybe I can take that route. I mean, this is a sixth round player. Seems to be pretty decent from looking at this. It's been a while since I've scouted all these players. That's why I'm kind of like going through and looking at them all again. This guy's name is just Jay. That's awesome. He doesn't even need a first name. He just needs a letter. He has a first letter. You ask him what his first name is. He doesn't have one. He has a letter. I like that. Uh, let's see what position. You know what? Let's look at defensive tackles. Um, see if I can find one that's going to work in a 3-4 defense. And if not, I guess I've scouted quite a bit of them as well. All right. Well, never mind. Uh, defensive ends. I know I've scouted a little bit of everything so far, which is kind of good. That's right, because I like this guy a lot. I believe. There's a few guys later on down the draft that I really, really liked. Uh, left end, was there one over here that I liked a lot? No. Alright. I know, I'm, I'm just catching myself back up on everything I've scouted so far. You know what, let's check out tight ends. Like, a late round tight end, maybe. Um, yeah, I scouted him, but... Let's look down the list a little bit. Some like late round sleepers, if possible. Speed, no. Catching, eh. Let's see what we got here. Those are the two things I like in a tight end. I like a tight end who can separate from coverage. It doesn't really look like there's... Well, I don't even have the points anymore. 
So, unfortunately, we didn't get too much done scouting today. I just should have saved up points a little bit. Um, but obviously, you know, I'll wait until we're closer to the draft and we'll really get going with all of that. Um, you know what? I have no interest in signing any of these guys back, so let's go ahead and just end negotiations with all of them. Best of luck in the future, guys, but just not what I really need right now. Um, anything else? Uh, we'll look at uh, the stats a little bit. See what we got here. And, all right. Some players I haven't even really heard of on defense. I'm sure a lot of people know who they are. I just don't follow those teams closely enough. But that's interesting. Three sacks, a fumble forced, and a fumble recovered. Then one sack, one interception, and a touchdown. Uh, Tannehill had a pretty good game, and Stafford had a pretty good game. Tannehill, really, he only threw one touchdown, but he had 411 yards, so that's really good. Uh, it's funny that he only threw one touchdown. That must have been a slower week in the AFC, I guess. Yearly awards. We'll just look at the MVPs for right now. Um, look at this. A lot of 11 and 3 teams up at the top here. It's pretty interesting. Uh, a few 10 and 4 teams. Playoffs should definitely be fun. Uh, let's look at that, actually. Let's just go to the playoff picture. And that might be it for this video. I know it's a little bit shorter than most, but I feel like, you know, we've kind of been covering everything lately. I want to wait till the end of the season to really get into all the awards, and then we'll check out the stats then. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of scouting today. We really didn't have enough points to do too much, unfortunately. But anyway, so uh, now can I do this in the playoff picture? Like I know right now it's just it's probably putting a lot of the best teams up at the top regardless of where their division is. And as you can see, the Broncos and Chiefs right here. Um, I'd kind of like to see how the playoff picture unfolds, but Bills definitely going to get in there. That's pretty cool. Chiefs, you know, they'll be in a wild card situation. Chargers again, wild card situation. Um, pretty crazy. The AFC West once again is sending two wild card teams here. Uh, so we got the Ravens, and you no, know, look at this. The Patriots are going to be out of the playoffs. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. I don't know. It's all pretty crazy. That's going to be an interesting uh, playoff. We'll, we'll get more into that as the time comes. Um, okay, and you know what? you got to think about it. The Texans are going to be in the playoffs way down here. Oh, that's nuts. All right. Over here, uh, let's see. Cowboys and Eagles both having a pretty good season. That's nuts. Um, that actually might keep the Seahawks out of the playoffs over here. And the Redskins are having a pretty good season, too. So, yeah, the Seahawks look like they might be out of the playoffs. That's nuts. Because the 49ers obviously have that Division I. Um, but, yeah. All right. I know we didn't really get through too much today. Uh, I, part of that's I have to go to work. But <laughs> my actual job. But I definitely wanted to get this up so I can hopefully get that seventh and final video up tomorrow. It's going to be tough. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find out when I'm going to be able to do it, honestly, because the 49er game's tomorrow, then I have work. So I'm going to have to figure something out, but I definitely want to get it up tomorrow. If not, I'll just try to upload two on Monday. Um, that way it will be eight games in eight days as opposed to the seven and seven. Um, but, you know, I'll do my best. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you want to see come off-season time. Some of you have already been telling me, and I appreciate all the comments. Uh, but, yeah, any advice anybody has, definitely let me know. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time for week number 16 against the Titans. Hopefully we can finish this, finish this season strong. But, yeah, later, guys.